Hi, this is Ryan Lawler. I'm here with TechCrunch TV. Today I'm joined by Nate Plecharczyk, who's the CTO of Airbnb, and Mike Curtis, who's the new VP of Engineering. Uh, Mike, you joined from Facebook, right? That's right. So tell me a little bit about what you were doing there um, with the engineer engineering team as they scaled up and uh, what you plan to do at Airbnb. Okay, sure. Uh, well, first of all, thanks for having me. Sure. Uh, it's great to be here. Um, uh, so at Facebook, I was a uh, director of engineering working on something called user growth. Mm -hmm. And uh, for people who don't know what user growth is, there's a, there's a team at Facebook that is, uh, their mission in life is to get everybody in the world onto Facebook and get them yeah. to keep coming back every day. Uh, so uh, it was a really fun team to be a part of. They're really amazing at what they do. Uh, and I was there when they had the like distinctive moment of crossing a billion, uh, billion monthly active users on Facebook, which was just crazy. Okay. And so now you're looking to get a billion people on Airbnb? Is that's that, the plan. Is that the idea? That's the plan. That's <laughs> okay. actually that's my Q1 goal. That's about <laughs> the market size, yeah. so I think it's possible. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. So, uh, Nate, tell me, this is a new role. Um, tell me a little bit about uh, why you decided to bring Mike on and uh, what you're envisioning, you know, in terms of bringing him on to run the engineering team. Sure. So we're about a team of 50 engineers right now, and we've been doing a ton with just a few people. Um, but it's really just the beginning for us. Uh, there's so much that we want to do, and that starts with building out a real world-class team. Uh, and to do that, we need a full-time leader uh, mm -hmm. helping with the recruiting and making sure that when we build things, we're building with a future in mind. Um, so we get some incredible challenges uh, in front of us, and Mike stood out to us uh, both for what he's accomplished uh, at Facebook and the role of growth there, mm -hmm. um, and also for, uh, you know, he saw um, what we were doing and the environment that we're trying to create the engineering culture we're trying to create, which is one that's very collaborative uh, with folks from different disciplines uh, to create world-class product. Okay, so you've actually already had a ton of growth so far. Um, you know, I'm wondering, Mike, as you go from Facebook to Airbnb, which is, you know, a lot smaller, how you can help them, like what types of things or, you know, how you help them uh, grow beyond, you know, even the impressive growth that they've had so far. Yeah, well, I think that's one of the things that makes me so excited about uh, being part of Airbnb now is that it's still so early in what we're trying to do. And the opportunity uh, for where we could take it is basically limitless. Like, you could take Airbnb, uh, you know, the sky is the limit. Mm -hmm. um, but I actually really believe that um, predicated, that success is predicated on building one of the best engineering teams out there in the world. And so I think, you know, we're going to be faced with some crazy challenges over the next couple of years as this thing grows. Um, you know, technical challenges, scaling challenges, uh, and that's, uh, that's what I'm really excited to do. Okay, fair enough. And uh, I, I'm just kind of wondering if we can back up a little bit and, and just talk us through um, what's happened recently uh, from the you know, technical side, Nate. Like, what, what have you been most focused on just in terms of uh, growing engineering at Airbnb or, you know, some of the products that you've rolled out recently? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so at the highest level, we're a website, but we're online, but we're bringing t people together offline. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of things that have to happen in the background to make that possible. Uh, it starts with uh, matching uh, travelers to hosts. So there's some interesting search problems there, some interesting personalization. Uh, it's also a marketplace of supply and demand. So we're managing price and making predictions there. Uh, there's also a trust and safety component that's extremely important. Right. So we have tens of thousands of people staying with each other every night. Mm -hmm. And how do you make sure that every one of those people um, have good intentions? Um, and then payment has to be exchanged. So there's like all this complexity mm -hmm. that you don't see. And I mean, I think that's part of what makes a great product is like um, you appreciate it for what it accomplishes and not necessarily all the cool stuff that's uh, under the surface. But behind that is a whole bunch of engineers working on these things. Yeah, and the things that Nate just described right there are actually like some really interesting like algorithmic engineering problems, right? Thinking about how to match people well or how to get like the best search results or like predict when a calendar is going to be up to date or how much somebody should charge for their house based on demand in that market. Like this is really serious engineering stuff. So I think like attracting people who are going to be interested in that is 
uh, something that's going to be really key building the team. Okay. And final question for you, Mike. I mean, obviously, coming from Facebook, you know, what, what, what brings you back into this sort of startup culture? What, what's attractive about Airbnb specifically? I mean, I think it's the same thing that attracts anybody to uh, an earlier stage company. Like, it's still really small. Nate's already said it a couple times, but there's only 50 engineers in the team right now. Mm -hmm. And so you think, like, any one individual who comes into the team is going to immediately be working on really high leverage stuff because we don't have enough people to work on anything mm -hmm. other than really high leverage problems right now. And I view it the same way for myself, right? Like I come into this team, there's so much that I feel like I can bring to the table coming in. So, uh, you know, that's why I'm here. Okay, excellent. Well, good luck in uh, your new role. Uh, thanks both of you for stopping by and uh, thanks for being with us. Thank thanks you. A lot. Thanks.